Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February uh, 8th, uh, February 10th, excuse me, uh, 2019. So that being said, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is to be a, a general tarot reading and for that reason is going to resonate in a, a different level with, uh, with the different Leos uh, that, you know, are in this world. So <clears throat> for that reason, in this video, I will try my best to explain you uh, the meanings of the cards and as well the synergy in the spread uh, but ultimately uh, you will have to align this reading with uh, with your personal situation for maximum accuracy now if you want a uh, personal reading with me then uh, check out my website and uh, you can uh, see all of my services and as well their pricing in there so these are the four cards that we got for you now the first one which is the topic of your of your week leo that is going to be the king of cups followed by the second card which is uh, the things that is gonna slow down your process or what you should not do throughout the week that is the tree of cups followed by the third card which are the things is uh, speeding up your process or the things that you should do throughout the week that is to be the eight of swords <clears throat> and the last one is going to be the final outcome of this week and that is to be the temperance card so uh i will uh, leave the cards here on my uh, table and we're gonna go through them one by one but just as an overview um <clears throat> it does look like that say um someone um, is going to change to a certain extent uh, your life uh, in either your career or in either your relationship or maybe in the both places and it's kind of like it will be a week where uh, you are to uh, make a breakthrough or break free from certain limitations that you are placing um, in front of yourself or you're sticking to those limitations so the first card that we do have that will be the king of cups and the king of cups refers to a very experienced person someone who is capable of um, of deep emotions and of deep feelings now <clears throat> that person also uh, is going to make kind of like quite balanced judgments upon you and upon your situations and based on the judgment and decision that this person is going to take regarding you, uh, the person itself is going to play one of the three following roles. So either this person is going to reveal their, their love for you, they are going to, offer, they are going to address you with a, uh, a tempting offer, or they will offer you a, a helping hand. That depends again on your personal situation. One of these three options available are coming around throughout this week regarding the topic of the week itself or what the week is going to be. Now, important thing uh, with uh, the cup suet here is to maintain your, uh, how can I place it? Mm. I don't want to say secrecy here, but it's more like um, be um, being capable not to um, not to jeopardize their standpoint. I forgot the word. It's uh, more like damn. Can't can't figure out the word that I was about to use, guys. Um, it's it's kind of like a state where, state where you. You keep a secret, or and uh, you don't kind of blow up the uh, the situation before it starts. <clears throat> so, uh, for example, when that person approaches you with either a tempting offer, a a love explanation, or you know a helping hand, uh, you kind of like should not display it in front of the world. 
because that oh, sense of privacy, excuse me. So it's a sense of privacy I wanted to say. So that person values their privacy. They are valuing the, the, um, the effort they're gonna place uh, in your platter because they, as I said, that was a, a very well-found judgment. So they decided that it worked either helping you, giving you that offer or explaining themselves love-wise towards you and you shouldn't kind of as i said blow and burst the bubble here uh very well acknowledging uh here with the uh, knight uh, with the king of cups is that um let's say that that person displays themselves or um explain themselves excuse me uh love wise towards you well that is because uh their emotions or they have judged and decided that you are worthy for their emotions so that is other way around that is a person who is very close they they don't allow anybody around them all right they don't uh, or everybody excuse me around them they don't offer help to everyone around they are not mother teresa they are just they they just scope their surroundings they decide are you worth it or not worth it? And afterwards, you know, they make uh, an action. And this time around throughout the week, uh, this person will decide that helping you, offering you a an opportunity or sharing their love with you is going to worth a big time. The next card that will be, or the accompanied card, that is the King of Pentacles, which is another confirmation because the King of Pentacles kind of knows they are also their own personal worth. King of Pentacles never bets on a losing horse. King of Pentacles knows that if they invest in you, they will get um, things in return or they are going to accomplish what they have planned. All right. So it's more like he what i'm trying to say here leos is that this person sees potential in you low potential business potential it doesn't really matter they see potential in you and they if you don't see that potential in yourself they are determined to unfold that that potential of yours either love wise or business wise it will differentiate for every single uh, different leos but can you trust them you can definitely trust to that guy just because we do have here a, a passive friend uh, you need to know that this person is rather uh, prefer slow approach they are not very exciting uh, when they do uh, when they move they are kind of trivial people uh, if you hope on uh, big surprises here to stir your passion that is unlikely to happen but uh what they can offer you is security what they can offer you is consistency what they can uh, what a person can offer you it's a a, a solidity all right <clears throat> so you can rely on their support or on their law for that matter the next card that we do have for you leo this is going to be the tree of cups and these are the things that can slow down your process the uh, progress excuse me the things that you should not do and tree of cups is all about cooperation uh, cooperation with many people and as we said that this person values their privacy they value your privacy so the the, the thing that you don't want to do is as i said to brag about uh, that uh, you know you have such a support you have someone that loves you or you know you have just received the uh, the offer of the century it will be best to keep that thing uh, for yourself because um, as I said that person offers you something and it's only yours to take nobody else needs to know about it nobody else needs to daydream about it nobody else needs to expand your vision about it the very least because what they offer to you either love or a business proposition and etc etc it is exactly what they ha uh, uh, it is exactly as they say it is all right you don't need any advice about it you you know you will know how you stand you will, uh, in this you will know uh, what you uh, what you have to invest in it as well and etc etc and the only right decision uh, that can be taken can be taken only by you so no consultation with faithful companions with friends and family and etc etc 
uh, should be um, should be um, accept it really because nobody can tell you what you have to do and only you can decide should you take on this person help or this person contribution or should you move along uh, on your own so once again with uh, the three of cups it is best to keep uh, your personal affair personal and not to display them uh, for the public view, especially if we're talking about emotions, right? So even if uh, there is some sort of disturbances here and there, nobody needs to know how you feel at that specific week, okay? Just keep your emotions for yourself and for that person that comes around and uh, basically kind of breeds a sense of security and stability um, in your life once again. And the next card that we do have, or the accompanied card of the tree of uh, of the tree of cups, that is going to be the six of swords. And the six of swords uh, here kind of have a quite of an ominous um, meaning because as soon as you start sharing your emotions with everybody around you, friends and family, and etc. etc. Uh, with the six of swords, I think that they will try to talk you out of it. Uh, basically, touching the subject from an angle, um, trying to convince you that it is way too big risk of a taking, right? And or it simply ain't worth it, and uh, that you can lose more than you can actually gain from it. And again, as I said, uh, when that person reveals themselves to you and uh, when they kind of approach you, they will tell you all the pros and cons, and is it is going to be exactly as they say it is. So um, the other people's opinion upon that kind of connection or relationship you can create with that guy or a girl uh, are going to be just twisting twisting the reality. It's going to be like uh, planting seeds of, of doubt and fear in you to a point where you may decide, well, you know, it's just ain't gonna happen. I'm, I'm better being, let's say, miserable, but at least in a place where I, where I know how things stand rather than take my chances, you know, and try out on you with this person that comes around uh, in my life. So, <clears throat> literally, uh, this is what these uh, cup of cards are uh, displaying here. And uh, I, I do believe that throughout this week, Leo, uh, you may kind of um, keep up to the privacy of, uh, of your life and before you actually uh, reach to some extent of development in uh, your relationships and in your career affairs for that matter it is best to keep those affairs uh, for yourself because again with the three of uh, cups and the six of swords as a uh, catalyst here there is a, a big chance that those people which are around you that you consider as a friends and family could ruin the experience uh, for you not necessarily intentional okay they could do it completely out of love for example if you have recently broke up in a relationship and a new person comes around and explain themselves uh, how much they love you um, and you want to believe it all right but in the same time your family or friends are way too protective of you and they are starting to plant those seeds those seeds excuse me of doubts and uh, and fear deep down uh, in your soul so the next card that we do have for you guys that is going to be uh, the eight of swords and so how the eight of swords uh, of swords stands well, this card refers to I uh, being stuck into a dead end situation, um, helpless and dead end situation, which is created by personal self contribution, right? Or it's it's created with self contribution. So and also it stands for attempt one to break through the self imposed restrictions and limitations that one place. Uh, on themselves so this is what you need to do uh, throughout the week to recognize uh, what of the things that you are doing is rather holding you back and where you have placed your limitations and what you can do beyond those limitations on top of that 
The Eight of Swords is about disturbance in communications, being narrow-minded, being unyielding, not wanting to listen because this person uh, <clears throat> will, uh, I, and excuse me, and that uh, disturbance into communication need and has to be uh, has to be worked over. It has to be overcome because that person could come around and could try to to uh, give you sound advice. They may try to help you that way um, and to explain you what are the pros and the cons from the uh, tempting offer that they are to uh, there to display you. Uh, you know, and you may find it hard to believe because you are narrow minded in what the people tells you in that what the people that are beside you tells you and etc, etc. And you have to break those limitations down and you basically need to look outside of the box. All right. You have to kind of like expand your mind on uh, on the uh, on the foundation of that this person gives you throughout the week and what that is going to do for you. Uh, as soon as you do it, uh, well, it's going to break the chains of the self-imposed limitations that you have imposed for yourself. It's uh, basically that simple. And uh, finally, the Eight of Swords is about uh, minding your own business. Once again, keeping up the personal... Um, I forgot the word again. It's It's really kind of privacy okay so keeping up your privacy and don't allow anybody to interfere in it it's kind of like guarding yourself with the privacy here being stuck to to your privacy and to what you know to be true and so on and so forth not allowing anybody to uh swipe you off the uh the, the generic opinion that you do have upon that uh, invitation upon that explanation or a uh open or a, an opportunity that is given to you from that uh, from that person. The accompanied card here. This is going to be uh, the eight of uh, the eight of pentacles, and in my country we do have that uh, expression. Uh, seeking a lamb under the bow, so it's kind of like trying to find an excuses, and uh, wanting a uh, warranties that uh, kind of like a warranties which are not realistic to get. For example, if that is a person that uh, you can create a relationship with, these warranties could be related to that if you go into that relationship, you know, you will want a warranty that that is going to end up with marriage. For yourself, I mean, not for that guy or a girl, but for yourself and so on and so forth. And as we said, you got to break down your limitations. And one of those, uh, what I'm trying to say here is, is that uh, one of those limitations or maybe the big limitation of those is that... Um, The whole process that you are expecting to happen is a uh, um, an already sorted out process. It's kind of like you may want all that thing taking on this uh, tempting offer or making that relationship, you know, or just allowing that person to help you is going to go uh, is going to go according to your expectations but once again we said that you got to be open minded okay so it's not going to go beyond beyond your expectations and you got to be open for a, a surprising events that are to happen as soon as you allow should you allow that person to take their place uh in your uh, life as well what this uh eight of uh, pentacles here points as a, is that as soon as you embark that journey with that person, there will be ups and downs, you know, but should you be determined and you should be determined here to um, press forward, uh, those ups and downs are going to be taken and dealt with with uh, a, po a severe portion of ease and severe portion of security as well. But you should not kind of allow to be uh, scared from that there will be a ups and downs. And the last card that we do have for you, Leo, this is going to be the temperance. And the temperance, uh, it's the final outcome. So uh, I does point that should you follow those, uh, the guidance here that Saru is giving you about that person coming in your life, 
throughout the week, uh, then you are going to uh, embark a, a very balanced path. You are going to embark a path where your opinion, the very least, is going to be honored. So even if your opinion differentiate from that person's opinion, uh, that person may not be agreed with it, but is not going to uh, make you kind of be despondent about it as well. So your opinion is going to be taken under consideration. Your, your opinions are going to be taken under considerations and they are going to be honored as well. Not to mention that the more you involve yourself with that person, uh, the more compassion you're going to start feeling from them, the more solidarity as well. And it's kind of like this card speaks for a, a symbiotic existence, like coexistence, where even that you do have your differences from one another, you still can find a, a common ground to thrive together. And that is a, a very potent uh, cooperation. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship once again, although there is a chance to be, all right? But in any case, it's going to be a very thriving and growing um, coexistence that you can be helpful to one another and in the same time you can learn from one another as well. Not to mention that this cooperation will allow you to take on the chores that you had until this very moment finding aggravating with much more ease and this time around traversing them into something very joyful to uh, contribute in. So it's, um, you know, easing your life in any way you look at it. And the accompanied card, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings. It is about new enterprises and so on and so forth. So additionally to the what I said about the Temperance, this card uh, kind of makes a stipulation here that uh, you most likely are going to uncover a, a talent of yours that you had no idea existed whatsoever. And this talent will allow you to uh, expand your environment, like finding new job that you thought you can't work until this very moment, like uh, um, expanding your social circle as well. For example, until this uh, very moment, if you have been shy to contribute into big parties, into these social gatherings of rich people, and that person, but by the way, that person could be as well very rich with the uh, King of Pentacles a, as a catalyst, someone with resources that can help you in any way. And uh, they propose you to uh, lead you to a certain ball or a, a prom, excuse me, or a party and etc, etc. And until this very moment, if you have felt shy to do it, so well, you will be able to overcome that shyness. That is just an example. But yeah, you are going to find for yourself much more enterprises that you can involve yourself with and in generally that is going to be a week where you're going to expand your life and expand your environment. So that being said Leo this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, February uh, 4th to uh, February 10th 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again, it was general reading and is going to resonate in a different level with every single different person, uh, every single different Leo. And uh, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.